Yes, here we go. So this is the workshop page. And well, if I move the stuff, you can see the URL, but you probably can find that yourself in the email or in the Twitch description. So if we scroll down a little bit, we get to the schedule. So first off at the top, there's some basic important information which we'll keep updating every day. So keep checking back, but schedule. Yes, so this is our home base and how, well, our second home base and how you can find the different links where we are. So I'm gonna open the summer kickstart intro here. And as usual, there's far more information here than I can possibly talk about. So let's see how much we can do. Okay, so intro, who are we? The team that you're seeing here is called Science IT or Alto Scientific Computing. We work in collaboration with other universities sometimes. And there's one talk in collaboration with CSC. So together we're putting on this course and trying to make sure you have everything you need. Most of the teachers are from Alto University. So the contents of this course. So day one is sort of general big picture things. So there's a little bit of hands-on to do, but for the most part, it's sort of demos and talking and learning about each other and how we do stuff and so on. But then once we get to days two and three, there's a lot of hands-on and we're actually going to use the computer cluster. Attending the course is multiple different people. So we have people from different universities using different clusters. So even though our demos are based on Alta University, we try to adapt our material so it's suitable to others, but you might need to figure out a little bit other things if you're at other sites. So practicalities, how this workshop works. So as you may notice, we are a live stream. So this is not Zoom. You can't send a chat message directly to us. So I would look at it as like a TV production, which I think was Enrico's metaphor. So we're all here watching. We're broadcasting to the world. There's, um, you yeah. know, and then there's pauses like commercial breaks where you can go and you can work on the exercises yourself or in groups or however you're doing it. There is a Zoom se session for live help during the exercises, which you can be in if you'd like. But the main way we communicate is the HackMD, which I will show shortly. So the workshop has many different parts. There's a lot of talking and demos there's some where we'll be typing and you're watching. There's some times where we will say, okay, now it's your time to work. And we mute the stream and then you have 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 or however many minutes to work on stuff yourself before we come back and discuss. And then there's breaks. So at least the last 10 minutes of each hour or so, we would like to have a break time. So to communicate. So the Twitch chat, we don't really watch that much. So there's basically too much for us to be able to see that. But you can sort of try it if you need have practical questions. But HackMD is the most important way to talk. And you can see an example here. So we have section headings and subsection headings for where we are. And then there'll be questions and then answers come in a sub bullet point. And the great thing here is anyone can ask at any time and you can sort of do it live and you don't have to interrupt. So our, our even though this is live stream, the number of questions we have is sort of far larger than I've ever experienced in an in-person or Zoom course because it's anonymous and asynchronous. Um, you will get used to this as we do it. So. If you see the people that know, um, yeah, it'll start making sense. The main point to remember is to ask questions at the bottom always. At the top, there's different buttons to switch between view and edit mode. So switch to edit mode, you can write stuff and then back to view mode. 
So we noticed that if people are in view mode, that increases performance a little bit, so might have less chance of the whole system crashing. Um, yes, so where do you focus? So there's the screen sharing lecture, which is the first thing you should be focusing on when we're talking. During the times that where you're typing, you can be working on that. HackMD, there'll be more information that you can possibly follow during the course. So um, look at it when you need to, but don't let it distract you. And then, of course, there's the lesson web page to refer to things. The reason we have this really interesting vertical sharing mode is because so that you can do this with Twitch. You can make part of it vertical and then have the other half of your screen for your own work. So it actually works pretty well. So hide the chat, go to theater mode, and then, well, you have plenty of space to follow along or even do your other work while you're watching what we're doing. Works pretty well. We try to be accessible to many different learning styles. And that's because mainly the recordings and the HackMD. So if you want to just watch and follow along later, you can. The recordings will be available. Um, they'll be available tonight even. And that's possible because there's no privacy concerns here. Any questions you ask, the writing can be there, but there's no way for your voice or video to be in the recordings. Uh, but regarding this, yeah. it's a good idea to remember to not post like private information to the HackMD mm -hmm. or into the chat. Uh, and like, don't put passwords or or your email addresses or anything like that into the into the HackMD because well the HackMD might be shown on the stream. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, and there's different paths you can take. So some people might be really active about watching and doing all the exercises. Some people might prefer to just watch and then do them later. Either way is okay. We won't get upset, and we also won't even know. Please remember to be nice to each other. So everyone here is at different level. Everyone here is both a teacher and a learner somehow. Um, if you're with other people, talk to them and ask them how it's going and provide the help that they might need. And when something isn't going well, speak up immediately. So we're always watching the HackMD. So if you write in the bottom, hey, I can't see the screen, you're not sharing the right thing, or you're too quiet, right? And we will see and fix it. So what can go wrong? This is fun. So yeah. So first off, you can get overloaded with information. Not just you can, but you will get overloaded with information. So don't worry, once it gets like this, then change your watching style and watch some and come back later. Don't get so caught up trying to keep up, up that you sacrifice the rest of the course. If there's too much information in HackMD to follow. So that's expected, that's gonna happen. Our typical courses get several hundred questions per day. So don't try to follow it, read it later for future reference or read the answers to your questions. If HackMD lags and you can't edit or it's going wrong, then that means it's getting a bit too long. And for that, we will archive the other, the old questions to an archive link, which is located at the top of HackMD. If we don't have time to cover everything, well, that actually will happen. So then we, summarize and we leave you things that you can review later. So a lot of these lessons are more starting points to the lessons rather than trying to do everything with you right now. If we deviate from the schedule, well, we're sorry, we try to stay on track, but this is going to happen, especially if the audience gets really interested in something. We'll spend more time there and reduce time from other things. If there's major accessibility problems, like for example, the audio quality is bad or the screen is not visible, things are too small, we're typing too fast, then write the problem in the bottom of HackMD immediately and we'll notice and fix it. 
if the stream suddenly dies, that means that something has happened to my internet connection and my streaming machine. In that case, just stick around. We'll be back in about five minutes or so. It takes a while to get set up. If you don't have th something ready, something installed or configured ready to go, well, that's too bad, but switch to watching mode, work on it for a homework and come back the next day. If you can't attend the course every day, well, that's okay. Uh, we have the videos available. That's the whole reason of the live streaming. So that way the videos are available with no privacy risks. If a cat visits one of us, well, that's not a problem. That's actually what we hope happens. If the course is too cool and you want to know more about what we're doing, we have advanced information on some of the lessons. Ask your local supporters and well, search around and you can find more. So final note, so this is recorded and will be put on YouTube. We will do a great effort to get the videos processed and on YouTube by midnight tonight. So far in most courses, that works. You don't have to worry about being in the video because you can't possibly be in there because you're watching a stream. Don't add names or personal information in HackMD. Don't post personal information because it might be streamed to the world. So just don't say a name, just say like, yeah, I'm at this university, I have this problem and let us figure out. All the outputs, including HackMD, will get a CC by license and will be published for people to refer to later. So don't write anything private there either. If you want credits for the course, we don't give certificates for this course, but if you're in Finland, you can go to this online course, Hands-On Scientific Computing, and you can get credits. And it covers a lot of the same things we're talking about now. Um, yeah, and you can join us in helping to make courses like this possible later. So with that, I'm done. Let's switch to HackMD um, and see if there's any questions. Yeah, I'll yes. add one thing that, that throughout, like every day, uh, through, the, uh, through every day, we asked, um, ask usually to give some feedback, some something good, something mm -hmm. uh, bad, something that can be improved upon and that sort of thing. So please leave the feedback because that helps us design the courses for the next years and maybe sometimes even the next days. Because if we, if we yeah. notice that the pace is too fast, pace is too slow, something was uh, not gone through in, in fully in, in the day's materials, we can then adapt on that. So please give us feedback. There. Yeah. Okay, so if there were any questions, you could be writing them right here, right now, and we'll see even after we go on to the next section. So with that being said, I believe it's Enrico next. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm going to take over the screen share. Yes, please do.